Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. Today's video we will be talking about two numerical rules. As in the last class we have learned about concepts called as the PMF, the probability mass function, which is basically used for discrete random variables. Then we learned about PDF, that is the probability density function, and then we learned about CDF, which is the cumulative distributive function. So basically, in this video, we are going to solve numericals on this. One is going to be on probability mass function, that is for discrete random variable, and the other is going to be on continuous random variable, that is the probability density function and the cumulative distributive function. So we'll be talking about this. So if you haven't watched the previous video, it's my humble request, please go and watch it out. You will get the basic understanding of this concept. Once the concepts are clear to you, you can apply those concepts in this numerical that we are going to learn. I am going to try my best in order to make you aware of those concepts in this video also. But to have a clear understanding, it's my humble request, please go and watch it out. That video is present in the random signal analysis playlist on my YouTube channel. So please go and watch it out from there and then come to this video where we will be solving these two numericals. These numericals are very much famous in your examination. If you understand these two numericals, I am very sure you will be able to solve at least the basic kind of numerical that is asked in your examination. This particular PDF is present in the description box of my channel as well of this video. Please download it from there. Also, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram as well. On my Instagram page, the links are given down in the description box. All the formula sheets, all the diagrams, everything is uploaded over there. So if you like those sheets, those diagrams, you can follow me on Instagram also. I'm sure those things are going to be extremely helpful for you during the time of your examination for quick revision and for your preparation as well. So let's dive in into the concept of today. That is random variable. So... What does the question say? Now, R we have told very clearly stands for random variable. If a random variable takes values 1, 2, 3, 4, if you see the value taken are 1, 2, 3, 4, such that 2 of P of x1 is equal to 3 of P of x2 is equal to P of 3 of x is equal to 3 is equal to 5 of P of x is equal to 4. Find the probability mass function. That means what? The values taken by x is 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to find out the corresponding probability values. At x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 4. Now, the given equation over here, you have to equate to k. Okay, you have to equate to k. And that is going to be p of x is equal to 1 is equal to k by 2. P of x is equal to 2 is equal to k by 3. P of x is equal to 3 is equal to k. And P of x is equal to 4 is equal to k by 5. Now, as I told you, in case of your probability mass function, the addition of all the probability values is equal to 1. That is the reason I was telling you watch the previous video. It will be helpful for you. So, what we are going to do is that all these probability values, we are going to, a summation of those, we are going to equate to 1 and find out the value of k. Now, once you know the value of k, you know the value of p is equal to x1, p of x is equal to 2, p of x is equal to 3, and p of x is equal to 4. And hence, you have the final table. So, it's a very simple numerical. The only thing is that you should know the property of a probability mass function that the probability across all the values of x in this case is going to be equal to 1 and hence you can get the final answer. I hope I am very clear with this. Okay. The next point is going to be of continuous random variable. So, continuous random variable x has following this is called as PDF. f of x of x. This small f of x of x stands for PDF. So, if I show you over here, this PDF prob probability density function is f of x of x. So, this value is equal to k x square for x between 0 to 2, find the value of k. So, there is a property again for probability distributive, uh, distributive function, density function. As in case of PMF, all the summation value was equal to 1. 
this is a discrete random variable. The probability density function is a continuous random variable and hence the integration value from minus infinity to infinity is going to be equal to 1. So just come over here. So the value from integral 0 to 2 because they are mentioned over here the limits is going to be equal to 1. f of x of x value is given to you and then find out the final value of k which is equal to 3 by 8. Now what is the value of CDF? The CDF is nothing else than cumulative distributive function and that is told between 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. So you have got from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 f of x of x you know this value so you can find out the final answer. So I hope I am very clear with this. So these are the two numericals on probability mass function and probability density function as well. So if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram as well. The links are given down in the description box. Thank you so much guys. Bye.